are you a forex trader that wants to trade next week like the professionals i'm going to give away my trading plan for next week so let's go Trading Forex is risky, not property for everyone. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Whatever has been in the past doesn't need to happen in the future. And whatever I'm going to say today is only for educational purposes and not a financial advice. So if we go to what happened last week and our trade plan for one week ago, we have the Australian dollar. We have yeah, around 80, 90 pips here, but also from 17th, we also have 200 and so forth as we go down the line. Now, that was just the Australian. What about the Euro? Well, the Euros gave us 117, 116. For the pound, it gave us 120. And for pound yen, it gave us 171. And for New Zealand, it gave us uh, almost 100. And for USD CAD, it gave us 127. Boom! How much is that to my desk? Well, if you do the calculations, I guess it's somewhere around 800 or 900 pips. Fantastic, eh? Congratulations. I would advocate for taking caution, take a Monday, take a Tuesday, see where we go. You can definitely say, okay, I'm gonna buy this thing. It's Monday, it's a good day, I'm gonna buy it. Well, that's totally up to you, but I am actually seeing potentially a low coming down to 75. At least for this week so we either come up to 78 or 7850 and then turn lower that is not my plan that's not what i want but for the entire month of march i do expect us to be less bullish february was fantastic january was terrible or range bound and i believe if we can get prices down to yeah, 74 for the month either before 15th or around the end, like something like this, that would set up an even greater move higher. For the long run, that might be a good idea. The reason for the fall was transition from stock market to bond market. Now, what does the Fed says? What does the Fed say? Uh, we need to listen to what the Fed is going to say. They have three speeches or four speeches this week, I think it is. Powell is on Thursday. Are they going to comment that the bond market move on Thursday and Friday was okay? They were comfortable, they were uncomfortable with it or comfortable with it. We have to see through the news. That can turn this one lower, that can turn this one higher. So right now it is not in our hands, it is in the Fed's hands of what is going to head, head next with the market. For Euro dollar, US dollar, we have broken the bullishness. It had to hold 121.80 for me to be still carrying a bullish momentum for this one. Come down to 21.73, really only looking to lower side now, down to 19.50 area is what you would expect. I do not really care for that move. I don't think I'm going to trade it even. I'm only going to be a spectator because February was good and I'm not going to give away my profit just because I had to trade. This kind of market condition is no way favorable to my trading. The only thing that's good about this, it is not lower than that low. That doesn't mean it cannot happen in the future. So as your professional trader here today, that is what I think might likely happen. I want this to be above 2180, then I will start taking it higher. Until then, adios, amigos. Pound, dollar, yen. No, pound, British pound, dollar. We have a top. This one didn't fall as much as the other ones. So Australian fell a lot, New Zealand fell a lot. And I would just say, this is the most likely scenario. Also because I want a lower price to buy again on the pound dollar. This one might be the first one to make a higher high. That would be great. I will not be standing in the front of the train to the lower side, but hey, it is what it is. This week might be a different week. I might make another video next week and totally different concept because right now 
you have to take into account what I've said. Market is not in our hands. Market is falling, was falling rapidly. It is not making higher highs, higher lows. It is making low, is making lows, not lower lows. And we will just wait as patience takes us in. We might even take an ice cream and cheers. For British pound yen, I'm expecting yen move higher for the month of March. Now, that means pound yen down. Do you think that's a good sell? That's a pretty good sell. But the other ones are much lower, so you're wondering what's wrong with pound. I would say down to 46, probably also down to 44. And if you really got it good, you might even get it down to 42. So what happens if market falls fast to the targets? Targets we will go through in a live session later this evening on the monthly. What happens then? If that happens very fast, that is kind of going to do a counter attack. So if market falls, you get a lot of profits very fast. Be sure that you take your profit and you leave and you leave the market because even though you want this to crash, it doesn't crash. Like people, okay, chill. For New Zealand dollar, yeah, uh, US dollar, we are most likely looking for some small pullback and then fall probably down to 71 or 70 for the month, weekly. Uh, I was supposed to do weekly here. Hey, <laughs> weekly. We are now expecting, okay, down to 71 a weekly as well. So same thing, back up to central, around 73, down to 71. That would be a good trade plan for your sellers. I'm not gonna take it. But hey, have a good run. Run for it, run! So thinking lower side, this price currently is just in the middle of somewhere. Am I gonna buy it? That would be fun, just, just to see how high it can go, just if it does go higher. But I have plans, double bottom, higher high, higher lows. I need to break higher, find support before I can start buying again. And it's, I'm just adapting to the market price. You know, this is what I want to see. And this is not a part of that upward move. USD CAD was fantastic last week, came up to this price around 27.50, okay, okay, okay. But then that could be your sell price around here, yes, true. But also remember 29, 28, 70, 60 ish area up to 29 is also an area to look out for. So 28.80, at least for this week. So if we just go knock it up, we will knock it down to 26 and a half again. So currently, looking for dollar bullishness, or I'm expecting dollar bullishness, I'm expecting yen bullishness, taking this next pairs downtown. So for the Euro yen, for an example, on the weekly, we have already touched the weekly sell price that it has set up for a sell. And then the most likely target is 127. That's around 150 pips down from now. So will we get it? We don't know, but you never know. If it comes fast, if it comes hot, remember there will be a counter trend to that. Move. Now, New Zealand yen kind of can be cover, but could also be a lower move. Now, if everything turns around me and says it goes higher, I will catch it, I will take it. No, don't you worry about me. I will worry about you. And worry about you is make your choices, take your position on which side you want to be on. Mostly sellers are in control at the moment. Buyers not in control. Do not chase a market where bulls or where bears is in control and you are a bull, okay? For gold, we have a lower low. We also have a pullback situation, potential to sell it again down to around 68. 1680 all right that also means for this week we can be quite strong to the downside it is not bullish so if you are a bear you're totally in your right to sell it i'm not going to but hey you can do that that's up to you and i will look for that it also depends what the fed does 
all right? It all depends what the Fed wants us to do. So if they say the, the fall in the bond market was too great, this one will go higher. Silver, same thing, but a bit more bullish. Totally different price point, but still a lower low. So not as amigos. If you are a seller, you can take it back to 27, down to 25 and a half. Great. Now, last pair on this chart today is oil which is very high, hasn't made a low, hasn't broken the low I want us to break. I think it was 61, I think it was. So we haven't broken 61 yet, yet. But remember, read your fundamental analysis, read your central banking analysis, read your bank analysis, and go to those websites where, they, where you see forecasts in the market. So you start to understand what the other banks thinking the ones that is also playing in the market, okay? Once you start reading those, once you start analyzing how the market actually behaves, you will start to understand more of why things are happening. This is not random works in the park. This is all predetermined stuff that is not in the that is not in the charts. Currently, I did say that oil is going to go lower. Well, why? Well, that is my bias because I've read my reports. That's all. And then, then I said yen is going to go higher. Well, yen is like a double, is like at the bottom, it's like a downtrend, it's like everything is down. Okay, we shall see about that, okay? Trust me. Um, I'm going to, I don't going to play it, but it's my plan. And if I do get a plan, and if I do get my entries, great. But until then, nah, it didn't work out. Great, okay then I do not care. Target of around 57.72. Stop loss above previous high. Um, normal stop loss is 50 pips. Um, target is normally 100 to 150. Uh, 250. And risk is 1%. And then when your risk so little, it shouldn't be a problem of you being wrong right now so take care join me tonight at 19 to 30 gmt plus 2 and have an awesome trading week